You are evil. Not evil, dear. Wicked. Tell them how I am defying gravity. Casting bombshells, behind the scenes secrets, and a jaw dropping five minute movie teaser. You won't believe what Wicked unveiled at CinemaCon. We have everything you missed right here. The excitement for Wicked Part 1 is tangible, and last night's showcase significantly heightened the anticipation. As guests entered the auditorium, they received unique lanyards and glowing roses, which were illuminated at the sound of defying gravity during the finale of the studio's presentation of its forthcoming movies. In the final 30 minutes of Universal's two-hour segment, the spotlight was entirely on the wonders of Oz. Wrapping up the Universal Pictures presentation, Donna Langley, the chairman of NBC Universal Studio Group, and the wizard himself, Jeff Goldblum, took the spotlight to talk about the film. Jeff pointed out a unique aspect of the production, the absence of green screen technology, a choice dictated by Cynthia's green makeup, which could have posed a potential conflict with green screen effects. The stage also welcomed John M. Chu, Mark Platt, and Michelle Yeoh. Yo, who will portray Madame Morrible, expressed her initial concerns about singing in the movie. Chu lightened the mood with a witty encouragement, saying, You played a rock in a movie. You can do anything. The presentation reached its climax when Ariana Grande and Cynthia Erivo appeared on stage, followed by an exclusive screening of more than five minutes of footage from Wicked. Unfortunately, the new exclusive glimpse of Wicked hasn't been shared with the general public yet. But those fortunate enough to attend CinemaCon were treated to a preview. The clip starts with Ariana Grande's Glinda pondering, are people born wicked or do they have wickedness thrust upon them? Accompanied by familiar shots of Oz, Glinda, and Cynthia Erivo's Elphaba from the initial trailer. In this preview, we're introduced to Michelle Yeoh's character, headmistress Madame Morrible, who assigns Elphaba and Glinda as roommates at Shiz University in the Land of Oz. The beloved song Popular can be heard softly in the background. And boy oh boy, the thought of Grande singing this iconic hit is insane to even imagine. Additionally, there's a brief glimpse of Dr. Dillamont, a sophisticated CGI goat who we now know is set to be voiced by Game of Thrones star, Peter freaking Dinklage. That's right, the goat is playing the goat. <laughs> As for Dinklage's character, Dr. Dillamond is a talking goat who also happens to be a professor at Shiz University. He gets discriminated against because he is one of the only animal professors at the university, but Elphaba ends up becoming his friend despite that. Additional university scenes show Elphaba and Glinda engaging in combat training, with Glinda also giving Elphaba a makeover. In a humorous moment with Bo and Yang's character Fanny, he remarks on a black witch hat found among Glinda's belongings. Glinda jests that it belonged to her grandmother, and she'd only pass it on to someone she despises. When Elphaba walks in, Glinda teasingly offers her the hat. This leads to the pivotal moment where Elphaba dons the iconic hat for the first time in the ballroom. Following this, Elphaba gets an invitation to meet the wizard in the Emerald City, recognizing her unparalleled magical talent. Eagerly boarding a train to the city, Elphaba persuades Glinda to come along, who readily agrees and leaps onto the train with her. We catch a brief look at Jeff Goldblum portraying the Wizard of Oz alongside the CGI purple flying monkeys. In a confrontational moment, Elphaba tells the wizard, you have no real power, to which he responds, that's precisely why I need you. The scene quickly shifts to Elphaba fleeing from the wizard. As defying gravity starts to resonate in the background, we see Glinda in a pink gown, encased in a massive bubble. Madame Morrible then denounces Elphaba as the enemy. A menacing poster of Elphaba with exaggerated evil features is unveiled to a large assembly, with a towering wooden statue of the Wicked Witch set ablaze in the center of the town square. Elphaba then receives her witch's broom for the first time. In a subsequent scene, Glinda and Elphaba stand by a vast open window. As Elphaba takes off on her broom, she declares, the wizard is the one who should fear me. It's safe to say we cannot wait for the Wicked movie to hit theaters this Thanksgiving. Are you excited? Let us know all your thoughts in the comments. Stick around for more CinemaCon coverage. Thanks for watching. See you next time.